I have a brother, just one sibling, and he's just under two years older than me. He has a resentment towards me that I have no idea what it's from. It, it cropped up when everything happened, when the whole discard and devalue thing happened in my marriage. So that's basically the crux of when everything went sideways in all of my relationships. And I've been estranged from my family ever since. Ever since my divorce, I've been estranged from my family and basically lost everything all at that time. So if, you know, if, if you're not familiar with my story, that's what happened, a big, a big uh, perfect storm and just totally devastating. And I, I was married to a, a person who was actually diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. And I came from a very narcissistic family, but it was, the, it was just the perfect formula for a totally devastating experience for myself and my two kids. One thing, one thing about it was, my brother was married to this woman at the time she was very, and she was very, very abusive to me, very abusive to me. And there was a certain amount of uh, envy going on with her. And, and when the opportunity came for her to really act out and, you know, act aggressively towards me and, there, and it was totally condoned, it was kind of amazing how much she just loved to see me fall. Well, and I, what was more, more amazing about it was my brother. I believe he is a, an inverted narcissist because he has his opinion of himself that he is a nice guy, he's a really nice guy. He's not someone who would lash out and abuse his sister. But what he does is he condones or he enables his wife to do it. And now he's got a second wife doing it who hasn't even ever met me. There's a video about a story about uh, the tenant from hell, my tenant from hell, this woman who rented from me and quit paying the rent and all of this stuff. Well, the punchline of that story, I'll go ahead and tell it to you now, was that she was having an affair with my brother at the time and, uh, and now they're married. So my brothers had two wives and they've both been really abusive towards me. And so it's kind of like in this way, he sort of keep, keeps his hands clean I guess, but he still gets to act out towards me. I made a video on inverted narcissism. I made a couple of them before, but it just sort of dawned on me that that, I think that's what's going on with my brother. Now, another piece of this I want to, I want to uh, bring up, this, has, this goes back to these puppies, is now this is just a theory, just a wild theory, but you know, I'm unable to kind of figure out, you know, where did all this come from? Have you ever heard narcissists say that they love newborns? My mother always said that. My mother's a nurse, but she used to say, oh, I love newborns, I love newborns. And when I was born, my mother got a lot of attention because everyone wanted a girl. And I was the only granddaughter on both sides and, you know, just everyone was really excited about having this girl. And so um, my mom got a lot of attention. But that was my moment in the sun because, uh, you know, I went, I went down, you know, maybe a couple of months and the one she's gonna like the most is the one that needed the least, right? And so having this younger child who's a little girl, who's emotional and vulnerable and all of that, that did not make me her favorite. And so it was, you know, definitely a better situation for my brother than for me. But in the very beginning, I have a feeling that she was probably not really great to my brother because my brother was getting to be a toddler and all that and then she was getting all his attention for this new little girl and i have a feeling that in the very beginning of my life my brother got displaced and and she probably built in a resentment there about about me that is probably completely beneath his veil of consciousness but it sort of dawned on me and I was dealing with these puppies and introducing them to our other dogs and all of this stuff. And, and I kind of thought, because, because my brother there, I just cannot figure out what it's, you know, what's going on. And when I've ever asked him, he denies that there, you know, that there's anything going on, but clearly there is. And, and when, you know, I look back on my life and he like he never defended me never protected me no one ever took my side you know and it was so strange because i was always taking his side i was always you know defending him and jumping to his defense it was just natural for me to do you know naturally took his side he, and he had this kind of brutal breakup i naturally took his side 
in my divorce, everyone in my family took my ex-husband's side. They still have a relationship with him and they've been estranged from me ever since he left me in the midst of a health crisis on our 10th anniversary and left me penniless. And they all took his side doing that. So, you know, it's a, you know, obviously a very dysfunctional family, but I, I just thought that this was an interesting piece about the two things about how my, how my brother has a lot of resentment that he won't admit. And then his wives, I think, end up playing it out for him, end up acting on it for him. And then, and then this other piece about, I wonder if there's been something like a lasting resentment from something so long ago as that. I wonder, I mean, I, I, I would almost guarantee you that that happened to my brother because my parents are not thoughtful as it is. And at the time they were young, you know, like 23 years old, so 25 years old, young and narcissistic and all that. Guaranteed that was a terrible time for him. Guaranteed. And then I wonder if he's been harboring a resentment towards me ever since, and maybe even not knowing it, even not, you know, not knowing it. He definitely has a resentment towards me, but I have no, no idea why. I don't have any uh, thoughts that it's real. I mean, I don't, I know I didn't do anything to him. I was, you know, a really good sister, a really loyal sister and all that. And I didn't do anything wrong to him. So whatever it is, it's not something that I caused or that I, you know, anything like that. It's something, it's something subconscious and something I, you know, couldn't have fixed or controlled. But, but I, you know, I kind of wonder if it could have been something as long ago as that. Anyway, just a kind of funny thing I wanted to throw out there was on my mind. Please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Let me house a little truth. I'd like to know your point of view.